for the addition of halogens to alkenes. So you have your alkene right here, and if you want to add um, halogens to it, for example, Br2, Cl2, or I2, you can, but the only thing is it'll be an anti-addition, okay? So, for example, if you have two bromines, right? Here are all their lone pairs, and I highlighted um, the electrons that they're sharing in red. So this is the double bond, and these are the electrons that are being shared. So this double bond attacks this bond right here, right? So this, right, the, both of these two electrons go to this bromine and therefore become Br minus. So therefore this one becomes Br plus, and it forms a bridge structure, right, two bonds to the bromine, and that's why it's a plus charge right here. Now, now what can happen is the Br minus can come back and attack right here, right, at the most substituted place, um, because the most substituted place will better hold a temporary carbocation. So it, tempor it attacks here, right, once it attacks here, um, for example, if it's attacking from above, it will force both the bromine and the methyl to go inward, right, it'll, go, it'll make both of these go inward, and then the bromine will be sticking out. So that's why it's an anti-addition, because the, you added two bromines, but one bromine will be sticking out, and the other bromine will be sticking into the page. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.